Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you today, people? Hi. We're doing good. Doing Hi. good. Thank you so Welcome much. My part. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, it as people say, it's Friday, right? And that's a good day for my for the majority of people. Everybody knows right? it. And the body knows it. That's correct. Uh, for the majority of people, probably it's a good day because some people don't work on Saturdays. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to this video conference for today. That is Friday. So welcome, everyone. I appreciate your punctuality to be here. Uh, how was your day? Was it a good day, bad day? I need people to collaborate and to, and to talk. Let's talk a little bit. How was your day? Was it a good day, a bad day? What about you, Mr. Andres? Uh, it was a good day, teacher. It was a good day. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. What about you, Manuel Rodriguez? How was your day? Good, bye. How was your, your day today? Uh, well, uh, my day is very pesado. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can say it was busy, or you can say I, I have a heavy day. It is possible to say heavy. Ah, in this, I, have in this a, mm -hmm. I have a heavy day mm -hmm. uh, and, and send many reports to my boss mm -hmm. and other activities. Uh, or recruit the new personnel for the for the company mm -hmm. uh, and see the see the production mm -hmm. see the see the production mm -hmm. uh, any uh, more activities okay. for I the understand. heavy heavy day okay thank you so much. All right, uh, as I told you some few minutes ago, uh, welcome everyone to be here. We're going to start the classes, checking some uh, the attendance. As you know, that is how we begin our class. Check on this one. So uh, remember you can turn on the microphone and when I call your name, you say press and I'm here or any other way to... Uh, to... Gonzalo? Yeah, tell me. Just before we uh, start on or go on the class, I mm -hmm. uh, I just gotta tell you that I'm at uh, my job today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in case I have to go out to attend some of my work, I, I will I will have to stand. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Just uh, just so you know. Okay. Thank you so much for the notification in advance. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Let's get started on this one. Uh, I have Alejandra Maria. Alejandra Maria. Not at this moment. Let's see. Andres Giovanni. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Edgar Alfredo Mengibar. Edgar Alfredo Mengibar. Uh, Elsie Janet. Elsie Janet. Fabiola Georgina. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Uh, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. Not at this moment. Irene Azucena. Irene Azucena. Jennifer Magali. Present. Thank you so much. Josue Alberto Salas. Josue Alberto Salas. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Francisco Enriquez. Juan Francisco. 
para el próximo mes. Julio César Hernández. Ah, Julio César. Ay, no. Thank you so much. Uh, Carla, let's see. Carla Marta. Present. Thank you so much, Miss Carla. Uh, Carla Noemi. Uh, present teacher. Thank you so much. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Manuel de Jesús. Present. Thank you. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Marvin. Uh, Werner Mauricio. Werner Mauricio. This moment. Uh, Noemi Cordova. <coughs> bless, bless you. Noemi Cordova. This moment. And Suleima Ivonne. Present. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Now we're done with the attendance for today. Let's see. Let me check on this one. Some information that we're going to be checking on. All right, let's see. Let's get started with some information for today. As you know, it's Friday, and today we have our video conference number five. Video conference five. And today we're going to check on some vocabulary. And the idea for today is to practice all the, the contents, the vocabulary that we have studied in this week. So we're going to be making some uh, reviews and also we're going to have more practice to consolidate the information that we were studying. Let me see. As you know, every time we gather here, there is an objective that we have. And for today, I will ask, let's see, Miss, Miss Mariela, please, to read on the objective for today. Yes. Thank you. I will be able to mm -hmm. use of vocabulary and grammar mm -hmm. structures mm -hmm. to the contents in class to talk about product features obligation and future plans. Thank you so much. That is the objective. I appreciate that. Thank you. As you know, yesterday we were talking about future plans. And because today is Friday, I want to ask all of you about your future plans. And the general question for everybody is, what are you going to do on the weekend? And I will start with Miss Carla Lopez. Carla Lopez, what are you going to do on the weekend? Uh, hi, good night. Uh, good night. Good evening. Uh, I will be, no, sorry. I am going. I will. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, yeah, I am going to. Mm -hmm. visit my mom and my dad. Your, your mom and your dad. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Carla. Ask that question to one of your classmates, please. Uh, wait a minute. Um, Manuel Montoya, mm -hmm. what we do to in this weekend? What? No, no, no. Let's formulate the question. What are okay. you going to do on the okay. weekend? Hmm? What are you going to do on the weekend? No, the microphone, please. We cannot hear you, Mr. Manuel. Probably you can activate your microphone. It's off. Thank I you am, so much. I am going to beach. Going to the beach. I am going to the beach. Thank you so much. Manuel, choose other classmate and ask the same question, please. Hello. 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 And you are going to ask the question to your classmate. You say, hey, Juanito, hey, Carla, what are you going to do on this week? Escoja a otro compañero de los que tenemos acá reunidos y hágale la pregunta. What are you going to do this weekend? Excuse me, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. The last sentences, uh, 
is going to the beach or is going to go to the beach? The two possible, the two are options. The two are valid options. I am going to the beach, but in this case, the two of them talk about future plans. If we are going, if we are, let's say, using going to, the complete sentence should be, I am going to go to the beach. Yeah. That should be the complete idea. All right. But the two of them talk about plans. Thank you so much. Good point on that yeah. one. Mr. Manuel, tell me. Great. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, Mr. Edgar. Good evening. Welcome. Let's Thank see. You. Mr. Manuel, ask hey. the question. Hágale la pregunta a un compañero suyo. What are you going to do this weekend? What are you... What are... Perdón, vamos a ver aquí a quién me va a... Ay, coja bien. Exacto. Thank you so much. Choose the person. Coja la persona. El que le caiga mejor de la clase. Ahí hay alguien que se esté sonriendo ahorita, ese ¿eh? coja. Thank you so much. Sí, ay, sí, people smiling. Thank you. No lo encuentro aquí. Escoja a alguien. Mire, ten, le voy a decir los nombres. Tenemos Josué, tenemos Manuel, tenemos a Julio, Jennifer, <risa> Mariela, Marvin, Fabiola, Zuleima, Andrés. Tiene, bueno, Andrés participated already, I guess, but you have options. Tiene un montón de opciones. Tell me, ¿a quién va a escoger? El que se me quedó, Andrés. Ah, ok, no problem. No problem. <laughs> The last one. You, uh, what uh, are you, what are you going uh, to do? Going to do this weekend. This weekend. Thank you so much. Mr. Andrés, participate. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm going to be at home and watching soccer games. And watch soccer games. All right. Thank you so much. Andres, choose other person and ask the question. Uh, Fabiola, Georgina, what are you going to do this week? Okay. I'm, going, I'm going to the beach. I am going to go to the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. But try to repeat, please. I am going to go to the beach. I am, I am going to go to the beach. Thank you so much. Fabiola, ask the question to one of your classmates, please. Um, Magali. Thank you. What are you going to, to do on the weekend? Mm -hmm. I'm going to the cinema. I, I'm going to go to cool. the cinema. Thank you. I'm going to go to the cinema. Thank you. Magali, just go to the classmates and ask the question. Mm. Es... Josué Alberto, ¿tú participó? No. Ah, you, can, you can ask him, no problem. Ask okay. him, please. Es, what are you going to do on weekend? I'm going to uh, clean my house and visit to my relatives. So wait in this case, thank you. Just just something to to help you on this one. When you say visit, you mention the person. You eliminate two. I am going to visit my relatives. Visit two, not so common. Oh, visit my right? relatives. Visit my relatives, okay. right? Thank you. Josue, ask that question to one of your classmates. Suleima, what are you going to do on the, on the weekend? The microphone, Miss Suleima, please. Okay. Uh, I am going to clean my house because it's my first weekend in this house. Oh, interesting. Did you change house? Yes, the last weekend. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Suleima, ask the question to one of your classmates. Um... Edgar Alfredo, what are you going to do this weekend? Um, I'm going uh, to go uh, the play the play play soccer. All right. In this case, I am. You can you can eliminate go right, or you can say I am going to play 
podríamos decir una variante. No está, no está incorrecto lo que mencionó. But you can say, I am going to play soccer. Right? Voy a jugar fútbol. Okay. Or you can say, or if you want to incorporate more ideas, I am going to go to play soccer. Si le quiere poner okay. el go, entonces, to go to play soccer. Sería la idea completa. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. Mr. Okay. Edgar, choose, choose the last person on this one. Um, <clears throat> Magali? Right. Thank you. Okay. What are you going, uh, what are you going to this weekend? Just check on this. Yeah. What, wait, 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 Magali. The question, what are you going to do this weekend? You're missing to, to do. Me hacía falta el to ah. do en la pregunta. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, repeat. Yeah, please repeat. Thank okay. you so much. What are you going to do this weekend? Magali? Hello? I'm going to... I'm going to go to the cinema. Going to go to the cinema. Thank you so much. Hello? Ah. Thank you. We listen to that, to your plan. Thank you. Magali, choose the last person to participate at this time. Miss Magali, choose the last person, please. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, that's okay, no problem. Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, Marvin Wilfredo. Here. Uh, what are you going to do on the weekend? Uh, well, I'm going to have to work this weekend. Oh, so good for you, mister. That's good news. You have to work, you see? More money, my friend. No. Oh, no. Too bad, too bad. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> it is not extra hours. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for you, my friend. I'm sorry for you. Let's see. Uh, who was missing? Miss Carla, what are you going to do this weekend? I want to incorporate everyone. Ms. Carla, Marta, what are you going to do this weekend? Yeah, I am going to work. You're going to work too. Oh, too bad, too bad. Sorry. Miss Mariela, what about you? What are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to go to work. To go to work. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Julio Cesar, I guess you're missing to participate. What about you, man? What are you going to do this week? Yeah, unfortunately, I, I am going to have to work too. And you say, fortunately, like with a smile, I am going to work with a lot of energy, you know? <laughs> no. I, I wish I, I had the days off. For the I, uh, everybody wishes, wishes for the same, you know? <laughs> I know. Thank you so much. And Manuel Rodriguez, I guess All you're right. missing to share this information. What are you going to do this weekend, Mr. Manuel? Uh, I go to the beer day for my sister-in-law. Oh, for the birthday, thank you. So if you have cake, send cake to everyone, please. Please, and candies, and the piñata, you know, or something like yeah. that for the celebration, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Uh, everybody participate, right? I don't, want, I don't want to leave anyone left alone, right? No quiero dejar a nadie afuera. I guess everybody participated for this part. All right. Let's continue on this one. As I mentioned at the beginning, today we're going to be checking on some vocabulary and we're going to have some practice. If you have your books, you are going to see on page 17 that there is a vocabulary grid that is a table with a lot of letters. In this case, we're going to make a word search. That is the English term, right? Vamos a hacer una sopa de letras. Ahí como vemos, you have a grid. Tiene una, una subcuadrícula con vocabulario, right? Are you on page 17? ¿Tienen ahí su manual a la mano o digital? Digital or physical copy? Yes, yes teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is what we are going to do. There are some features. We're going to find eight vocabulary words 
that talk about products features. You have a line and you're going to write them. But at this time, we are going to make a speaking activity from this. Remember, speaking is the most, not, not the most, but one of the important parts of learning a language. At this moment, I want you to do me a favor. Check on the screen. As you can see, there is a grid, and I want you to do the following. I want you to number from top to bottom, like number one, the next one, number two, the next one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one is 13. I want you please to number the rows, the rows. Necesito que me numeren las, uh, las filas, por favor. Del uno, comenzamos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, creo que llegamos hasta el tres. Please. If you have it uh, virtual, try to imagine the numbers. Si usted lo tiene solo digital, Trate de ver si tiene la aplicación para escribir sobre su, su, su documento digital. Perfect. Si no, pues uh, trate de mentalizarse. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until 13. Vamos del 1 al 13. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Javier. How are you doing? Fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. We're working on page 17, Mr. Javier, and we're going to work on the vocabulary section. That is, uh, I have a, a portion of the page and there is a vocabulary grid. We're going to do a word search. Una sopa de letras with the vocabulary. At this moment, I ask for collaboration to number the rows. One, two, three, as you can see in yellow on the screen, you go from one, two, three, Every row. Cada línea la numeramos del 1 hasta el 13, de acuerdo a la cuadrícula que tenemos. Are we done? ¿Estamos listos? With that information? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. The next step is to label the columns. Ahora vamos a poner información en las columnas. And in this one, we're going to check A, B, C, D, E, F, until the end, that is M, please. From top to bottom, you go with numbers, and from left to right, you go with letters. Las columnas, por favor, les ponemos una letra arriba, arriba de la columna, A, B, C, D. Are we ready with the information, people? Are we ready? Ready? Not ready? Yes. 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 So, thank you so much. I appreciate your help. What is the intention of this one? We're going to do the word search, but we're going to do it in a speaking form. As you can see, the letters and the numbers are going to be coordinates to help you identify the position for the words, right? And we're going to go in this way. For example, imagine, I mentioned, this is the, the, like the model conversation. Vamos a hacer de una forma, eh, va a ser más verbal que tanto eh, solo buscar en el papel o, 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 en, o en el documento físico. Vamos a transformar en un ejercicio en el que tenemos que hablar, preguntar y, y dar información. Imagine this is the conversation. Imagínense que esta es la conversación. Ahí apareció el concursante o el participante A. And the person mentions, hey, I found a word. Encontré una palabra. Le dice su compañero. And the classmate is going to ask, where is it? ¿Dónde está? Right? And the person is going to give information. For example, the first one. Yo le voy a dar la primera para que vean que soy buena gente. Como es viernes, uno de repente anda de buena gente. Let's see. I begin, it starts in on a one, ahí doy mi primera referencia. Yo le digo que la palabra que yo encontré inicia en la cuadrícula, en la columna A y en la fila 1. Right? For us to, let's see, let me check on this one. Research, draw. Let me see. That means. Wait. 
on this position. Thank you. Yo le doy a mi compañero el inicio, ¿verdad? Estamos ahí. Columna, arriba que son las verdecitas, es fila. Yo le digo, inicia en la A1. Pero de ahí, ¿será que va hacia abajo? Does it go down? Does it go right? Ahí hace falta decirle al compañero si va hacia abajo la letra o si va hacia la derecha. Entonces agrego la información. And it goes right until F1. Yo le digo a mi compañero, inicia en la A1 y va y sigue hacia la derecha hasta el F1. And I have my first word. Y ya mi compañero se, se ubica por, por las coordenadas que le damos. Ahí dice, ok, thank you so much. Y ahí va a ir alternando. Si usted las encuentra rapidito, porque tal vez no va a ser tan difícil encontrarlas, pero la idea es que practiquemos, porque si no solo las hallamos, se le enseña, mira, aquí estamos. Pero qué de valioso sacamos de la actividad, tal vez no vamos a practicar tanto el idioma. And the idea is to practice. La idea es que practiquemos. Right? Questions at this moment. Preguntas al momento de cómo vamos a trabajar la actividad. Uh, teacher, uh, yeah. I have a question. I don't yeah. know if my, my manual is wrong, but mm -hmm. I don't understand some letters. Some letters. Okay, no problem. Let's, we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en pareja. Tal vez algunos caracteres no son tan legibles. Tal vez otros sí. Veamos cuántos podemos ubicar ahí con la ayuda del compañero. Y si no, pues yo de, después lo ubicamos como clase. No se preocupe. Right? The, the first words in mm -hmm. B or G. Uh, But wait, G or no B. Es B. It should be, right? Parece B. Ok. Ah, entonces ya ve, le va a poner más, más complejidad al ejercicio para que vean, pues, para ver si nos acordamos del espele. Thank you. So ustedes que creyeron. Ahí es para ver si ustedes se acuerdan cómo se escribe la palabra. Ahí sí, thank you. Hey, Josué, good job. Thank you so much. Ya ve, o sea, anda con todo ahí con el vocabulario. Thank you, Mr. Josué. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So we go like that. Así, así vamos a ir. Vamos a decir, por ejemplo, I, encontré una palabra. I found a word. Su compañero le pregunta, where is it? ¿Dónde está? Y usted le da la referencia. Por esa razón, eh, enumeramos las, las, ¿cómo se llama? Las columnas, las, 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 sí, las, las, las líneas, creo que son. Y pues etiquetamos las columnas, las filas y las columnas. Y ahí vamos a dar la información. Check on this one. Le voy a mostrar more information for this one. Voy a mostrar más información de modelos de, de preguntas que pudiéramos utilizar o respuestas. Useful expression. It starts on. Siempre vamos a dar la referencia. ¿Dónde inicia la palabra que usted encontró? Y ahí le dice la cuadrícula, eh, letra y número. And then the next information. It goes left until. Tal vez del inicio. La palabra quiere decir que va hacia la izquierda. Y hasta dónde llega la palabra. Or the other instruction. And it goes right until. Puede que la palabra del inicio de ahí vaya hacia la derecha. We don't know. The next one, it goes up. Tal vez la palabra está de abajo hacia arriba. Entonces usted le dice, inicia en la, en la M13. M13, y de ahí, you go for, it goes up. It will be. Or the last variation, it starts on, and it goes down until, right? Y va hacia abajo la palabra hasta y le da la referencia. So at this moment, I suggest you take uh, a screenshot or you copy. Ahí pueden tomar una, una captura de pantalla de los modelos de, de respuestas. Right? So we, you know the information on this part. Remember there are eight words. Tenemos ocho palabras que vamos a encontrar. Let's see. We're going to be working in break rooms. So you are going to be working picture. Thank you so much. Somebody's taking a picture at this moment, right? Avísenme cuando toman la captura, porque a veces salgo todo pando. Sí, muchachos, please. Thank you so much. No, I'm just kidding. Estoy bromeando. Thank you so much. But as you can see, uh, this is the information. We're going to work on, on the information at this moment. And I want you to, to use the language. Remember, that is the objective. That is sure. the main objective. Yes, tell me. Can you, you go to the previous slide? Yeah, no problem. Let me, let me go to this one. 
I go back and let's see. For this one, mister. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. At this moment, I am going to create a break room. And please try to speak English and try to participate with your classmates. Remember, I monitor and I check that if you're using the language. Trate de utilizar el idioma lo más posible. Recuérdense que por eso vimos la, las preguntas modelos y tenemos las respuestas modelos. Trate de ocupar el idioma porque de repente entro and I listen to you. So please try to, leave, try to speak English most of the time, please. Todo el tiempo posible. Tratamos de hablar en inglés. Let's see. Let me check on Peter. this one. Yes, tell me. Peter, yes. could you give us the eight words because in en la sopa de letras it's not easy to por la porque no está muy claro o sea okay es más fácil okay. buscarlo cuando si tenemos la lista de, de las if palabras. you know ya sabiendo más o menos cuáles son las palabras right okay good good point let's see let me check on this one All right, let me check. The words for this part are, the first one is weight. The other one is storage, warranty, size, price, dimensions or dimensions. You know, the two pronunciations are okay. Functions and battery life. One more time, weight, storage, Warranty, size, price, dimensions, functions, and battery life. Those are the eight words you are going to discover in, in, in this uh, word search. Are we ready for the activity? Yes. Thank yeah. you. So much. Okay. Repeat. Um, yeah. Yeah, repeat. Repeat. Las, uh, las palabras. Dijo. No problem. Uh, weight. weight, yeah, storage, mm -hmm. warranty. Storage. If you want, I can send you this one. Let me check. Warranty. I guess we have a chat here, so I'm going to use the chat to send you the information. Oh, okay. I, I, I guess you have the chat. It's over there. Weight, storage, storage oh, warranty, warranty, size, price, size, dimensions, functions, price. and battery life. Mm -hmm. Dimensions, mm -hmm. okay. okay. And okay. battery life. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. I will send you the invitation at this moment and you try to work. Remember, try to use the language as much as possible. Thank you so much for your participation. Mr. Manuel, you need to move to room six, please. Accept the invitation. Thank you so much. Yeah, storage. Where is the start of uh, on A eight, eight nine and going to up or going to to up uh, until a 
A2. It's orange. Repeat for, for please. Uh, I, I found a word storage. If they start on eight nine and fill up eight nine, eight eight two. Good job. Continue working like that, people. Excellent job. Remember to use the structure and you will do fine. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I found a word, Teria. I found a word, okay. I, I found a word. Eh, de ahí sería la palabra. Uh, it Where starts. But ask the question, where is it? Manuel begins. Ah. Manuel, Manuel inicia. Le encuentro una palabra. Then Edgar, you ask, where is it? Se le pregunta a Edgar, ¿dónde está? Y Manuel okay. ya le va a reportar la información. All right. Hey, hey, I found a word. Where is it? Uh, in the... the star. In the... Col in the, in the stars? Mm -hmm. It starts, it starts the, the column. Um, uh, arriba eran letras. Uh, letters, letters, letters. 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 Okay, letters. Uh, A, B, C, D, E. A column, column A, B, C, D, E. And file. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Col column, column E, column E, column E, and file uh, ten. Ah, uh, okay. Right, he can see the word is fun. Oh. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Ma Ma Marvin. Is, Marvin. Marvin in the English, please. Marvin. Nah. Le estoy, le, sí, le está yeah, yeah. explicando. Teacher, teacher. teacher, le estaba explicando. I found yes. a word, le digo yo. Ajá, I tú repites yes. después, where is it, le digo. Where yo. is it, ajá. ¿Dónde está? Yeah, where is it. Ajá. Yes, okay. teacher. No, es, es correcto, teacher. Thank That's you, no problem. problem. No, no problem, eh, no problem. Teacher, teacher. Yeah, tell me. The letter is column y the, the number is line. Uh, in the rows, en las líneas tenemos los números, que sería en la cuadrícula de abajo hacia arriba, tenemos los números, y en las columnas, así como lo tiene, creo que Werner está compartiendo, no sé si Marvin, it sí, goes sí. from A, uh -huh. okay, okay, perfect, uh, the columns okay. from A, A, B, C, D, E, ahí, en la, arriba en las columnas, lo etiquetamos por, por las letras, ahí para que nos okay, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So, letter, columns, Number lines. Yes. The okay. color, the numbers are for the rows. Los números son para, la, para las líneas y las letras son para las columnas. Columns. Okay. 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 Much? I found a word. Werner. Uh, where is? Where is? It start on column. Uh, I found another word. Oh, I teacher. No. It is uh, okay. Uh, H two. And it goes down. H two. Warranty. A nine. I think. A ten. A ten. No. I think. H10, H10, okay. Más o menos por ahí. Yeah, I approximately you know. That's fine. Thank okay. you so much. Continue working like that. Try to find most of the words. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm.
conversation that the teacher says, uh, I found a word. Where is, where is it? Okay. Uh, it starts on uh, column J and row one. And it goes to until uh, column J and row four. Thank you. Uh, the letter in column J is an S. And it goes down uh, in the row four. No, I found. J1, and it goes down to J4. You? The first you? letter is S. Did you find it? No. Um, but you have uh, the column J, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. column J, the first letter is an S. Function starts on number 10 and it starts on E and it goes e. to- S E 10, I 10. Yes. S and it e goes to L. H. Are we clear on that one? And it Function. goes right <laughs> until L. I no lo veo. I'm sorry, I got like I had Since... I had in, internet problems. No, nah, no problem. That's okay. Okay. Function. So function. It's it goes goes... left until. Uh, I think it goes I'm right. Sorry. Just right. <laughs> The other left. <laughs> <laughs> the other left. Well, well explained. <laughs> La otra izquierda. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> La otra izquierda. Así That's como right. Lo Excellent. Thank you. Continue working like that, people. Good job. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh. This sería. It's on H two. It starts on H. Two and it goes down. Seria. Yes. Goes down. It goes. It, down. it, goes. Uh -huh. it goes down. Until until nine. H nine. H nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next mm. uh, storage is so I difficult. Can. No, it's not difficult. It's easy. No, 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 no. That's, that's why when you don't understand, probably it's not there. If you don't understand, it might not be there. It's an indice. No, I'm just kidding. No, I can't assure it, but we can guide it there. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Continue working like that. And, and as you were doing, try to ask and try, and try to answer in English. Thank you so much. Okay, teacher. Thank you. I derecha izquierda. Live. Live. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver si encuentro otra otra palabra. Y, y es permitido así en, en ese orden. No importa. Yo, bueno, creo que sí, porque. Bueno, un poco la que he encontrado. 
Porque la, excuse, la, la... Me te, excuse me, teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uh, it's permitted uh, mm -hmm. words, uh, inverted words? Yeah, inverted, yeah. Yeah, inverted words. Ah, yeah. Okay. It is possible. I I guess there are two inverted words. I guess two. In total in the grill, I guess there are two. Which is uh, hey, which well, word did you find? That is inverted. One question. Uh, what is field? Uh, what is field? How do you spell it? F-E-L-T. Felt is the muscle. F-E-L-T. F-E-L-T. All right. Felt, in this case, is the past of feel. F-E-L-T es el pasado del verbo sentir. Feel. No es de filtrar, de filter. Ah, uh, filter, yes, right? No. Ahí sí. Si, si, si la palabra sería filter, ahí sí. Pero según Pero si me lo... Solamente según, es filt. Filt. Creo que tendría que buscarla porque no me Exacto, suena que sea la palabra. Ajá. F-I-L-T. Ok, es que... Eh, eh, la... Ok, pero igual sí. nosotros al final la tomamos invertida, ¿eh? Ajá. Life. Pero mi compañero dice que es así como feel, 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 filtered. Así. Filtered. F. Filtered. Sí, ¿verdad? Así es. Filtered. Así es. Filtered. Uh -huh. Filtered. Ah, no, yo pensaba que era filt. Mm, no, 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 in that case, no. All right, continue working like that, and in one the minute, words, mm, tell me. Okay, the word, the, the word is, mm -hmm. is life. Life. Mm -hmm. I guess the one life. inverted is bodily life. Right? That is a complete expression, bodily life. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a star. Um, a, 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 y diez que sería y ten. Ten. Diez. Y ten. Y después, eh, all right, until. Ya. Yeah. Until, eh, el. El ten. Nice. Ya. Yeah. And function needs to start. Eh, diez, vamos a ver, A, B, C, D, E. In English, Mr. Josué, please, A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> like the song, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, but mm, no, okay. I don't have my uh, manual in paper. Ah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's I difficult in my computer to, 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 to locate. I know. No problem. But thank you yeah. for the effort. Thank you so much. Okay. And functions. Until F1. Si es, si va hacia la izquierda, sería, it goes right. Sería until F1. O, o si va hacia abajo, sería, uh, it goes uh, right. Oh, no, it goes down, si es hacia abajo. Y it goes up, si es hacia arriba. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, where is the first word? Mm -hmm. Is there on... One... Um... 
Um, I uh, goes on. Yeah. You have to say uh, the letter and then the number. For example, mm -hmm. it's a star mm -hmm. on A1. Mm -hmm. In that case, it's, it's, not, it's not a problem it's if a you use the number. Star on A1, mm -hmm. I go. Uh, it's star on one, letter A. Okay. One. Huh? Let's start on J5, right? J5, and it goes down. Goes down. Until, uh, until. J. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Perfecto. Okay. La seis sería number six. dimensions. Okay. Number six. <laughs> yeah, see, I see. I got you. <laughs> no problem. That's I made a big mistake with you. So. No, ya la encontré. I found it. Oh, my name is English. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I found it. We found it. That's correct. We found it. Thank you so much. All right. We're about to return to the main room. So thank you so much. I appreciate your effort. And we return at this moment. I will send you the invitation. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Did you find all the words, the majority of them, or just few? ¿Cuántas encontramos? Todas, la mayoría, unas pocas. All, all the words, teachers. All the words. Thank you. That's perfect. All words. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a piece of cake, right? Really easy. ¿Qué decimos? Pan comido. Piece of cake. Me dice un pedazo de pastel, right? Que aprendamos la experiencia. Ah, teacher, that's a piece of cake. Ah, easy for me. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. For you, to check on the solution, this is an approximate where the words are. Para que vean ahí es un aproximado donde pueden encontrar las expresiones. We have weight, storage, warranty, size, price, dimensions or dimensions, functions, and battery life. Right? Those are the words that we were uh, looking for. Las palabras que estamos buscando. Let's see. I will choose three volunteers. Hello. The first one will be selected by Hello. me. And then the, the next person is going to have the power to select the next person. Let's see. Um, I will choose Mr. Julio Cesar. Mr. Julio Cesar, from the vocabulary words that we have on the screen, can you give me a definition okay. from one of them? Vamos a ver si nos recordamos las definiciones. Es que ya las estudiamos la primera, la primera sesión. Escoja una y trate de explicarme cómo definiría esa palabra. Chris. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will choose a warranty. Warranty? And what is a warranty? The warranty, uh, you want me to go based on the uh, manual or? Uh, if you can explain it in your, in your own words, that's perfect. Okay, a warranty will be a document that you get mm -hmm. from whatever store you get some product. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that document tells you that it's going to be replaced in case of uh, any damage. All right, thank you so much. That is the one. That is warranty. Thank you so much. Now, Mr. Julio Cesar, choose the next person. Please. Escoja la siguiente. And, eh, and I also, I also have me. the one from the manual. <laughs> I also I, have I, the one from the manual, the, the definition. Me, me. No problem. Tell me. The definitions, according to the uh, manual, mm -hmm. it will be a promise to repair or replace something within a period of time. Within a period of time. Thank you so much. All right. 
Mr. Julio, choose the next person. Si le, lo, lo escogen a usted, porque okay. Julio es buena gente y me va a ayudar. Yo, usted puede decirme, si tiene a la mano la definición, perfecto. Okay. Pero si no, puede expresarlo bueno. en sus por, propias palabras. Eso no es ningún problema. No nos vamos a quedar como la del libro necesitamos en Just That. No. You can explain. Si usted lo puede explicar, no problem. Julio César, choose the next person. Okay, I'm going to choose. Um, let me see. Um, Maria de Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. the, uh... <laughs> lucky Ready? person. Very lucky. Okay. okay. And which word? Any word, well, like you said, Kiera. Oh, you are. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, better in life? Mm -hmm. uh, definition only? Yeah. yeah, just a definition about better in life. What is it? Uh, okay, it's a uh, longevity battery. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you so much. The longevity of the battery. Thank you so much. Mariela, choose the next person to participate. For this part, um, next person, Josué Alberto. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's price. Price, price is the amount of money required for pet of something. All right. Thank price. you. The amount of money required to pay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Good job on this one. I know the rest remembers about this. Creo que todos los demás nos acordamos. Thank you so much for the volunteers. At this moment, we're going to check on one of the contents that we studied for the first sessions that is countable and uncountable nouns. I am going to show you some pictures on the screen, some representations. And first, I will ask you, what is it? You tell me the name of the object it is, and you mention the name. After that one, you tell me that I will ask you, is it countable or uncountable? And then, and then you tell me it's countable or the other version, it's uncountable, depending on what you see on the screen. Right? That is going to be the process we are going to do. So at this moment, you may turn on your microphones. There is no problem. All of you may turn, turn them on. And we participate on this activity. Check on the pictures. The first one, what is it? It's a table. Thank countable. You. All right, thank you so much. Is it countable or countable? uncountable? What do you think, people? Countable. Countable. Countable, countable. thank you. Thank you so much. And if I want to create a question, should I begin with how much and how many? Si quisiera yo formular una pregunta, considerando que es a countable noun, será que utilizo how much or how many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Thank you so much. Good job. Thank you. The next one. What is it? No. Love. Probably a representation of love, right? Tal vez una representación. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, this is love, love is uncountable. Is uncountable. Thank you so much. If we are representing the feeling, love, uncountable. Thank you so much. How much and how many? How much? 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 Thank you. So you can ask to us, to someone special, how much do you love me? How much I love I my... How much do you know who? <laughs> From here until on, on until the moon. Until the moon. You can say to the moon and back. Sería la expresión, ¿va? De, de aquí a la luna. To the moon and back. Right? You see? Perfect. You see, we learn everything. Lástima que no nos tocó el para el 14 esto, porque ya hubiera practicado con alguien más. ¿Sí? Thank you so much. Let's see, the next object that we have. What is it? It's a, 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 a,
Thank you so much. It's a backpack. Is it countable or uncountable? Countable. Uncountable. Countable. 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 You can say one backpack, two backpacks, three backpacks. How much or how many for this one? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Thank you so much. Check on the next, next illustration. What is it? Sugar? Uh, sugar? Sugar. Sugar. Yeah, thank you so much. Sugar. Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Um, countable. 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 Uh, I have a question. Ask me. Go this ahead. is a piece of sugar or pieces of oh, for pounds, marshmallows that will be countable. If we count like let's say like the presentation of the product, as you can see, they are in cubes, vienen cubitos, right? In that case, we can yeah. count the cubes. Los yeah. cubos, en la presentación que viene el producto, si los pudiéramos contabilizar, right? You say one cube, two cubes, ya ve que en otros países por cubito, how, how much sugar in el café? Two cubes, yes. Dos cubitos, aquí, a cucharadas, nos vamos, right? no problem for that. So in this one, but the, but the word, or yeah, or the noun sugar itself is uncountable. En si el término azúcar es no contable, solo yeah. si ya viene en esta presentación, sí, verdad. Igual en nuestro en nuestro entorno que es lo más común, you can say I want two spoons, right? Dos cucharas de azúcar, dos cucharadas, two spoons of sugar. Ahí sí contabilizamos las cucharadas, pero el azúcar no dice dos azúcares, tres azúcares, no problem for that, right? That's okay. If we consider sugar, how much or how many? Si yo me refiero a sugar tal cual, how much or how many? How um, much. How much. much. How much. How much. And if I refer to the cubes, how much or how, how many? many? How many. How many, how many, how how many, many. cubes? Yeah, excellent. How many in, in that context? And my last object, what is it? What do you see? What is it? Water. 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 Uncountable. 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 Thank you so much. How much or how many? How much? How much? How much? How much, right? How much water do you want? Right? That is okay. Hey, people, language, please. Hey, people, please. <laughs> Careful, hey, please. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yes, tell me. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> and in this case, uh, um, what is it? In in this case, how can we say how much water we will have? If if we measure it, we measure it in some recipient. How can we give it? Yeah, in that case, we can give it. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this case, for example, imagine in the scenario you want to drink water, right? And you say, hey, Gonzalo, I need water. And I say, how much water do you want? Then you mention, like, I need a glass of water. I need a bottle of water. Si yo le, mi pregunta general sería, ¿cuánta agua necesita? No le puedo decir cuántos vasos, o tal vez, si yo tengo, solo tengo vasitos de agua, le digo, how many cups of water? Ahí yo lo contabilizo, pero va a depender mucho del contexto. Yo podría hacer una pregunta en general, how much water? ¿Cuánta agua querés? Y la respuesta de la persona ah, me, sí, va, me va a indicar el, la cantidad. Yo quiero un vaso de agua. I want a glass of water. I want a bottle of water. Tal vez tiene mucha sed y quiere una su botella un poco más grande. Right? Y ahí usted menciona el, el, el recipiente, digamos, y ahí ya lo contabiliza. Pero podría ser una pregunta general. How much water? How much water do, do you want? Or how much water do you need? Y la otra persona me incorpora el, el detalle ya un poco más específico. ¿Dónde está? Abajo, voy yo. Si quisiera decir cuan, eh, cuántas garrafas de, de agua. Ah, how many bottles? Si lo utilizamos por botellas, entonces ahí recuerden se contabilizamos no. la botella. How many bottles botella. of water? Ah, exacto. How many gallons? ¿Cuántos galones? Ahí contabilizamos, pero utilizamos eh, un contenedor, haciendo referencia a eso, o a una Ay. cantidad. How many liters? ¿Cuántos litros? How many gallons? 
how many milliliters. Imagínense que lo quieres por, por, por yes. miligramos. Ahí lo vamos, lo vamos yeah. midiendo. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's In this case, case uh, then, yeah. uh, podemos entonces decir, um, how much water you, uh, you need it, for how example. Much? But, uh, como respuesta podemos decir entonces, uh, I need many uh, glasses of, of water. Uh, exactly, exactly. En la pregunta, respetamos que sería incontable y podemos hacer una pregunta general. Oh, how, how much water? La persona que responde ya puede utilizar a uh, un nombre o puede contabilizar algo. Entonces, no es necesario que si me preguntan con algo incontable, como how much water do you need, que yo tengo que responder con uh -huh. much o con uh -huh. algo así. Uh -huh. Usted ya lo puede utilizar uh -huh. con uh -huh. cómo se llama, con la información contable. Eso no hay problema. Y se entiende en el contexto. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Before thank we you. move, ah, you're welcome. Before we move on to this one, we're going to check on attendance, right? So please, when you listen to your name, you tell me, present, I'm here. I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm really happy, right? You mentioned something like that. Let's see. Alejandra Maria. Alejandra Maria. Not at this moment. Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Edgar Alfredo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Present. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, the next one is Elsie. Elsie Janet. Elsie Janet. Not at this moment. Fabiola Georgina. Present. Thank you. Francisco Javier. Present. Thank you so much. Irene Azucena. Irene Present. Azucena. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jennifer Magali. Present. Thank Present. You. Thank you. Josue Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Francisco Enriquez. Juan Francisco Enriquez. Not at this moment. Julio Cesar Hernandez. Right here, teacher. Thank you so much, mister. Carla Marta Cano. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Noemi. Hi. Hello, thank you. Manuel Alejandro Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Manuel de Jesús Montoya. Present. Thank you so much. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Marvin Wilfredo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Werner Mauricio. Mr. Werner. Thank you so much. Let's see. Noemi Cordova. Present. Thank you so much. I appreciate the effort. Thank you Present. so much. Thank you. And Miss Yvonne. To lay my Present. One. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Present. Right. Thank you. Let's continue on this one. At this time, we're going to check on something. We're going to be working in small groups and we're going to describe adults. Remember for a uh, product description, we can mention the size, we can mention uh, dimensions, weight, price, and storage. Remember, there is a list of questions that we were practicing to, ex to ask for this information. Parece que teníamos una lista de preguntas que utilizamos, sorry, that we use to answer this. Tenemos una lista de preguntas que utilizamos para averiguar esta información, right? What are the dimensions? Uh, what is the price or how much is it? 
how much does it weigh, uh, what is the size, right? What is the storage capacity, right? Recuerdense que utilizamos esa información. Now, I will ask some people, I will choose some people. Antes de que pasemos a la práctica, voy a pedir a algunos voluntarios para que recordemos la información y luego ya podemos irnos a la práctica. I will show you one product that I have, right? And I will show you. This is my product, right? And I ask some people to participate on this one, to ask me for a feature. Necesito que alguien, ya voy a escoger a alguien de aquí de la lista, me va a participar preguntándome información acerca del el producto que tengo yo por acá. All right? Marvin, you will be my first uh, person to ask me. De las preguntas que ya hemos estudiado, busque una por ahí y pregúnteme acerca de una característica del producto que yo tengo acá. Okay. What are the control dimensions? Okay. The control dimensions are approximately 15 centimeters for the length and approximately, let's see, for the width, I guess it is approximately, let's say, nine centimeters. That's what I will tell you, right? Just to give you an approximate. I, me la estoy inventando, no es que me la pueda en memoria, pero bien aproximado. Thank you so much, Marvin. Thank you so much for okay. the question. Let's see. I choose other person. Let's see. Irene, Miss Irene, can you please ask me other question about my product? Okay. Um, Miss Irene, can you please ask me other question about my product? Okay. Utilizamos como singular. How much is the price? Mm -hmm. Repeat the question, please. Okay. Puedes repetir la pregunta, por favor. How much is the price? Okay. The price is approximately $70. That is an, an estimate, right? For the product that I have here. Thank you so much. Is it replay? Es una replica. Ah, it's a copy. And a copy, a ver si, ni modo. De las de 20 pesos, ni modo, no problem. <laughs> you see, I'm the teacher, so no problem. Ni modo, para la copia me alcanzó nada más. <laughs> Thank you. All right. At this moment, we're going to do something. We're going to be working in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. And you are going to choose a product. Escoge un producto que tenga la mano. Right? And you're going to do something similar. You show the product to your partner. And then the other person is going to ask for information, right? Su compañero le va a hacer preguntas del producto. Eso es de lo que practicamos en clase, cómo averiguar información de las características. Entonces, escoja algo que tenga por ahí. Y ahí, la información invente, se la no problem. Remember, that is the beautiful part of English. No estamos buscando que sea exacto. Si usted me dice que esto vale un dólar, no problem. No problem, that's okay. Deme dos para llevar. But that's no problem, right? Try to, try to ask questions to practice the information that we studied in class, right? So tratar de, de preguntar y averiguar información o característica de los diferentes productos que su compañero pueda tener, right? Are we clear on this one? ¿Estamos claros con lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? No? Yes? No? Yes, yes. yes. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Let me see. Let me adjust this one. Let me solo ajustar aquí los, los rooms para que practiquemos. All right. You are going to receive the information, uh, the invitation for this one. So you join and then you show the product. Remember, I will be monitoring and please try to speak English all the time. Vamos a recibir la invitación y tratemos de utilizar el idioma inglés, que es el objetivo, la mayor cantidad posible. Please, thank you so much.
Fabiola, you are alone. What happened? I don't listen. I don't know, teacher. My goodness, let me check. I was just assigning people, but probably your partner is not here. Let's see. Don't worry, I can move you. No se preocupe, que practicarla la puedo poner con alguien más para que practique. No se me preocupe. Right. Let's check on this. Vamos a ver a dónde la podemos asignar. Ah, ok. Voy a mover a otro grupo, entonces ahí practique con sus compañeros. All right. So much. Okay. The, the storage this cell phone how how which no yeah how which the storage the cell phone how much you can mm -hmm. you can formulate the question with how much right puedes preguntarle how much storage does ah, okay. the cell phone have cuánta capacidad de almacenamiento tiene el teléfono Le voy a repetir ah, okay. una vez más. How okay. much is storage, storage, storage the cell phone have? Recuerden utilizar el auxiliar porque es muy necesario cuando formulamos preguntas. How much okay. storage does the cell phone have? And then Irene is going to answer the storage is, and then you provide the information. Ask the question. Okay. Uh, the how, wait, 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 is... wait, 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry for the interruption. How, how, how much the storage? How much storage? Mm-hmm. Uh, la pregunta completa. Haga la pregunta completa. Vamos a ver. How, how much the storage have? No, how much the storage uh, the cell phone have? No, check on this one. Nos hace falta el auxiliar, Mr. Manuel. Si gusta, anótelo por ahí. No sé si tiene okay. algo a la mano. Ok. Yes, yes. How, how, how much? much storage. Ahí vamos bien. How much okay. how storage. Much storage. Vamos a utilizar el auxiliar does. En este, en este punto. How much storage does the cell phone. Ahí mencionamos de lo, a lo que nos referimos. The cell phone. Y por último utilizamos ah, okay. el verbo. How. How much storage does the cell phone have? How much storage the cell phone? How? Das. No, no hace falta el das todavía. Das, das, okay. Ajá. How much storage does the cell, cell phone? phone have? Excellent, mister. That's okay. correct. Ahí estamos bien. Thank you. Okay. Continue like that. Okay. And respond, Miss Irene. Okay. The storage, the cell phone is five gigas? Gigabytes. 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 Thank you. Gigabyte about memory. All right. Thank you. Continue okay. working like that. See you trabajando. Thank you. Okay. How many? Wait. Uh, wait. 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 My wait. 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 Repeat the question, Manuel. Repeat the question, Manuel. Solo quiere escuchar cómo la formulamos para ver si le si le puedo ayudar en algo. How many? How much? Wait, wait, uh -huh. how, how much? much? Mm -hmm. uh, how much? Wait, uh, ah. the wash, wash. Okay. Perfect, vamos a hacer algo. Yeah, wait, my, wait, wait, my wait. wash. Give me a second, Mr. Josué, thank you. Vamos okay. a formular la pregunta, Mr. Manuel, yo le voy a ayudar para que logremos yeah. eh, preguntarlo de una manera, pues, super nice. La pregunta, pues, usted quiere averiguar el peso del reloj, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Entonces, la pregunta sería, how much does, recuerden que utilizamos el auxiliar, estamos hablando de tercera persona, refiriéndonos al reloj, un objeto. How much does the watch wait? Ahí, así preguntaríamos. Si gusta y tiene un cuaderno, puede anotarlo. 
how much does the watch weigh? Otra vez más. How much does the watch weigh? Esa sería la pregunta. How much does the watch weigh? Excellent, Manuel. And what is the answer, Josué? Oh, my watch, my watch weighed uh, 45 grams. 45 grams, right? Thank you so much. Excellent. Continue working like that. Sigan trabajando así. Recuerden el modelo de pregunta y ahí solo vayan alternando la WH question o lo, okay. la información necesaria. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Noemi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello, Noemi. Hello, teacher. <laughs> in this case, this I, one, I, I'm not talking. I'm not talking <laughs> in <laughs> Spanish. Teacher. I have to I congratulate you. you. I have to congratulate <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Carla. I appreciate you. You don't, don't, you don't surprise me this time. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, at this moment, as you are practicing, I just want to make a little parenthesis. Noemi is here, but she told me she cannot talk at this moment, right? That's why she's on mute. So even if you ask her, probably she's not going to answer. But I incorporated her for her to listen to you, right? She is my, my assistant at this moment, checking, right? And she <laughs> texts me, hey. They are talking Spanish, teacher. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's here, but she is at this moment. She is, it is not possible for her to talk. So you can continue. I want to listen to you. Can you formulate a question about the product that you have, please? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What is have the battery life? Time? Yeah. Ah, um, the battery life is um, five years. Five years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I guess. <laughs> no, it could be possible. Battery life. But, for example. But, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of battery, I, I don't know. It's a long uh, time a for time, a, a, a time <laughs> of the use. Of my mouse. So, uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> I imagine so it, people. I'm imagining. No problem. No problem. <laughs> that, that's the beautiful part of English. <laughs> that's the beautiful part. As long as you use English, I am happy, <laughs> right? No problem. Okay. Thank you so much. Continue working, people. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, until, what, uh, eight o'clock at least. Because my my day start uh, around 4 a.m. <laughs> 4 a.m. <laughs> It's the, yes, it's very early. And yes. you must be tired by now if yes. you haven't sleep at all. Yes, uh, the, the first I day that I, I was uh, <laughs> in the class, but I, I think class? that it's in the first class. In the first class, I was <laughs> sleeping. But now, yes, uh, I think that now I am. Um, how do you say acostumbrarse? Uh, in this you're case, getting you used to say, it. Uh, in this case, you're getting used to, in that case, it's like in the process, right? Como Julio Cesar le, le, ah, le okay. mencionó, si usted le dice en, en el progresivo, I am getting used to, entonces como me estoy acostumbrando. Pero uh -huh. si algo que ya finalizó y ya es normal para usted, entonces lo menciona, I am used to. Right? Utilizamos okay. como el verbo to be así nomás en presente, right? Como, ah, ya es algo normal para mí. I am used to that. Ya estoy acostumbrado. Ahí va a depender uh, del uso que, que, le, que le demos. Si el progresivo es como que todavía está en proceso, ¿verdad? pero no ha llegado como que acostumbrarse. I am getting uh -huh. used to or I am used to that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I How am are you used doing to with your be are here at this hour <laughs> i'm not so sleeping much. anymore <laughs> oh my goodness you should drink coffee or something uh, like that just to keep you awake we are doing no i was going bad. to say you should take vitamins ah uh, that's a good option too okay 
Hello. Hello, hello. Yes, uh, I think, I, I thought it was my internet. Oh. But I think it's his. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's mine. <laughs> so, what what uh, about yes. your product? It was your connection, right, Gonzalo? I guess it might be. Yeah, because you got you got frost. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Sorry for that. I will leave you to continue working. Thank uh, you so much. I think because just just speaking just speaking in slow motion, teacher. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Okay, thank you for the information. <laughs> Um, I, I we thought it was our connection. All right. Okay, so you asked me about my product, right? Mm. Marvin, what are oh. the battle dim dimensions? The battle dimension is a uh, 20 centimeters high centimeters and centimeters yes ajá ¿Cómo, cuál sería la palabra para decir lo que son este 20 centímetros de alto 20 centimeters of height de altura of ah, okay. height 20 centimeters of height en de circunferencia cuánto cómo diameter Diameter, diameter. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. the, the diameter is 10 cent centimeters. Thank you. Good job. Barbie, <laughs> how many functions does it have? Uh, this bottle uh, have one function. This bottle uh, has storage. Huh? This bottle has it. It has. This bottle has. Yeah. No, have no. This the bottle, bottle has. has. Excellent. This bottle has one function. All right. Only a storage liquid. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Continue working like that. Thank you so much. Uh, what is the difference between size and dimension? Dimensions. What is the difference between size and dimensions? In size, it's like you consider not many features, let's say. But on dimensions, you go for like length, width, and and the other is length, width, and height, right? En el tamaño, tal vez como más general, no consideramos tanta descripción, pero en dimensions, ahí sí vamos más específico con altura, con el alto, el ancho. Alto, el alto, 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 alto. Exacto, con esas dimensiones, tal vez podríamos ser más específicos con esa pregunta. El size sería como en general, but digamos si uh, you're talking about a shirt, imagine que está hablando de una camisa, you size L for large, yeah. for medium, large. or, or medium. Ex, extra large. Small. Uh -huh. Small. Uh -huh. okay. But in dimension, you, you go more specific for that. Okay, thanks. All right, welcome. Thanks. Continue asking, please. Okay, uh, we just have, just have one product. I don't know if, if we can use another one. No, yeah. we have one more minute, but you can continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, notebook. Sorry? I have a notebook. A notebook. Uh, Mm -hmm. notebook. Notebook. How much is the price a notebook? Teacher, yes. Can I say this notebook it costs 
to do that. Yes. In the, in this case, the notebook cost. If you mention cost. the proper name, right, of the product, it is not necessary to use the pronoun. Si utilizamos el, el nombre propio, ya no utilizamos el pronombre, porque par, me pareció escuchar, escuchar ¿Sí? the Ajá. notebook it. Ahí ah, ya no lo o decimos, cost. o the notebook, o si quiere referirse como esto, it, entonces usted dice the notebook costs, y le pone una S al, al final porque es tercera persona. The notebook costs okay. two dollars, or one dollar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. One more minute, then we finish. Continue like that. Okay. In, in, in this case, we use uh, one 19 for the tablet dimension, 19.3 centimeter by uh, 13.7 centimeter by 1.03 centimeters. Manuel has uh, questions. Tell me. Ask en las dimensiones me. utilizamos alto y ancho. O solamente así como estamos. Uh, it depends. It depends on what you are talking about. Va a depender del, del, a lo que nos referimos. Algunas cosas pueden tener solo dos dimensiones, como alto o ancho, o algunas otras pueden tener hasta tres dimensiones. Ahí va a depender. En algunas se divide como largo, ancho, y profundidad o altura. Va a depender. Ahí, de cada objeto, creo que podría variar. Sí, pero en el caso de, o sea, como estamos hablando de la tablet, utiliza Ajá. tres dimensiones, imagino Ajá. alto, largo y ancho, sí. o no sé cómo lo utilizaría. Ya, yeah. sí, largo, ancho y alto, sí, es posible. Pero utilizamos el by, no utilizamos largo. No, no, no. Generalmente en, esto, en estas cuestiones métricas se inicia por la medición más larga. Entonces ahí como que se va entendiendo, ¿verdad? El, okay. el, 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 dato más, el dato más alto sería el largo, el siguiente se entendería como el ancho, y el menor dato sería como la altura o algo así, si es que hubiera. Mm -hmm. Ok. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to return to the main room at this moment. So thank you so much. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, people, for practicing. I could notice that you were doing really great on this one. So I appreciate the effort. And I and I was happy to see that the majority of you were using the structure correctly and you were uh giving correct answers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Congratulations for that. Felicitaciones. Me alegra mucho que cuando llegué a los, a los cuartos que ustedes tenían, pues estaban utilizando la estructura correcta. Thank you so much. Let's see. We're going to move to the last activity for today. And let me see. We're going to work on a role play. Do you know what a role play is? ¿Saben qué significa roleplay? Como intercambiar algo así. It's possible to change something, right? It's possible to mention like that. Thank you. In this case, we're going to create a roleplay. And the roleplay is going to be based on some information that we are. I will show you at this moment. Let me see. Uh, Gonzalo, um, tell me. Go ahead. I'm going to stand right now. All right. No I'll problem. be back. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank for you. the notification. All right. In the role play, we are going to pretend something. In this case, 
we are going to pretend we are like other people, let's say, and we're going to create a conversation. That is the idea of role plays at this moment. And in this one, we are going to return and I will change the rooms because we're going to be working in pairs and we are going to create a small conversation. And in the conversation, we are going to ask uh, the partner uh, in for uh, questions with Ken, like for information and a question for possibility. For example, I'm talking, imagine I am working with Jose and I, and I say, hey, Jose, I need your help. Where can I buy um, shoes, a pair of shoes? And the person, I, you can buy shoes in the mall, right? And that, in that case, I am covering the first question, right? Vamos a, hacer, vamos a crear una conversación. De eso se trata el role play, de pretender que estamos en un escenario o que estamos en, una, en cierta situación. El primer lineamiento es que vamos a hacer una pregunta eh, de dónde puedo hacer algo en tanto informativo. Utilizamos el WH question y el auxiliar can. Si recordamos, utilizamos esa estructura para averiguar información. Yo le pregunto ahí, ¿dónde puedo comprar zapatos? Where can I buy shoes? Y la persona me va a responder hablándome de dónde sea posible. You can buy shoes in the supermarket. Right? Puede comprar eh, zapatos en el supermercado. Right? Thank you so much. Right? Después le puedo preguntar, can you go with me? para averiguar si es posible. Puedes ir, venir conmigo. Can you go with me? Y ahí la persona me va a responder. Yes, I can. No, I cannot. Right? Ese es el primer criterio que vamos a cubrir. Una WH question with can and a yes, no question with can. Es lo que estuvimos estudiando en las sesiones anteriores. The next criteria in this part is this one. Ask your partner what he has to do, use time expressions. El, recuérdese que el have to, y en este caso el has to, era para averiguar obligaciones, qué tengo que hacer. Y vamos a acompañarlo de una time expression. Imagínese que yo hablo con mi compañero y le digo, hey, Carlitos, what do you have to do uh, next week? ¿Qué tienes que hacer la otra semana? Y la persona me responde, hey, I have to, I have to clean the house or at work. I have to supervise employees. I have to uh, create a payroll. Tengo que crear la planilla o tengo que limpiar. You are going to respond. Vamos a preguntar acerca de eh, responsabilidades o obligaciones y lo acompañamos de una expresión de tiempo. La siguiente semana, tomorrow, next week, next month. Ahí lo vamos a utilizar. And the last, the last one is going to be to ask your partner what he or she is going to do. And you include time expressions, okay? El último criterio es que le vamos a preguntar al compañero qué es lo que tiene que hacer y lo mismo acompañamos de una expresión de tiempo. For example, hey Carlitos, what are you going to do uh, next month? ¿Qué vas a hacer el otro mes? Y la persona le va a responder, I am going to, right? I am going to, Look for other job. I am going to have a meeting, right? Y ahí vamos a reportar acciones que van a ocurrir en el futuro. Así utilizamos los tres contenidos gramaticales que hemos estudiado en la semana. Preguntar dónde puedo hacer algo, si es posible algo. Hablar de responsabilidades y hablando de planes a futuro. Those are the questions, and those are the situations that we are going to be covering at this moment. Is it clear? Estamos claros de lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes. Thank you so much. I need your confirmation. Oh, so Thank you so much. So, so. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Vamos a ir a los break rooms y vamos a atender cinco minutos. Lo vamos a hacer rápido porque regresamos y al regresar le voy a pedir que usted haga la conversación con su compañero. Ahí con quien estaba trabajando, activan micrófonos y hacen la conversación y todos escuchamos lo que creó. Así que si quiere, eh, hágalo de una forma más verbal, como pónganse de acuerdo. Porque si empieza a crear la conversación en su cuaderno, nos vamos a tomar mucho tiempo. 
Entonces diga, hey, yo te voy a preguntar esto, vos me respondes tal cosa. Right? Organize your ideas. Trate de organizarlas y si no, pues nos tiramos a, a ser espontáneos. To use the language. That is the objective. All right. Let's get into business on this one. And I will send the information at this moment. Ya le voy a mandar la invitación. All right. Mi CDN. No. La, la... la pregunta uh -huh. ¿dónde tú puedes recibir al, al personal nuevo? Va? Sí. Ah, y, la, y la otra sería ¿quién es la posible? ¿quién you ¿quién you ¿quién you Can you receive, digamos, siguiendo la, la, ah. la misma pregunta, can you receive personal, personal you? Ah. Sí. Personal you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, where can you receive personal you? Uh, is it the, 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 uh, uh, the question, va? Sí. De la el primero, as, where can you receive new personal? New personal, that's okay. New personal. Yeah. Y okay. Respuesta mm -hmm. sería, can you receive personal new? Esa sería no. la, la, segunda, la segunda, la segunda pregunta. pregunta sí. Can mm -hmm. you receive personal new? Oh, no, new can person. you receive new person? New, new person. person. Sorry. Thank new you, personal. Sir. Teacher, me disculpo, teacher, fíjese que me salió una emergencia y tuve que moverme. Pero ya había trabajado la primera parte con, con mm -hmm. Francisco, creo que tenía. That's right. Con... Thank you so much. Eso era de regresar a los grupos, pero cuando regresé ya no. Ah, right. sí. mm -hmm. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ahí es. Y es no. Y la tercera sería. Eh... La tercera And the third question, please, in English. English. And the ask. <laughs> The other the, the, the other question. The other, the other, the other question. question. Yes. Going yeah. to going to do. Going, going to do. Going. 
deportivo. Nadie. Ah, oh, yeah. You can buy in Nike uh, the store. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the other question. Ah, the other question. Yeah. What do you have to do tomorrow? What do you do? Yeah. What do you have to do tomorrow? What do you have? Right. An obligation. Do you have to work? Mm -hmm. Work. Uh, uh, clean the house. Uh, yeah. Clean my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or do the homework. Yes, to do the homework in the platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. So how um I practice I practice English. Excellent. I have to practice English. Thank you oh, so yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, we need to practice English. Thank you. Continue yes. working. Two more minutes. So let's get okay, into okay. Thank you. Yes, no question. Yes, no okay. uh, yes or not question. Mm -hmm. For example, send some examples. Uh, can you can you buy a hamburger for me? Mm, that's a good example. Can you give me some money? <laughs> <laughs> that is other yes, example. Yes, I can. Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. We have two more minutes. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. I can. Ask your warehouse here. And what are you going to do? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay, here's when the I'm going to I'm going to do to the wedding. I'm going to go to the wedding. Yeah. I'm going to do to the wedding. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Where, um, bueno, de nuevo. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, where can where can I buy the computer? Uh, you can go to the mall. Where I can buy the computer. <laughs> Uh, can go okay. to the mall. Yeah. Okay, where is the mall? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the mall is in Jefferson Street. Okay, great. Can you go with me to the mall, please? Sure, I can. Good job. Oh, thank you. Siempre nos pasamos de la hora. Sí. Okay, de nuevo. Okay. When can we go out? Yes, can go out tomorrow in the night. Esa no lleva yes en la respuesta, creo. Porque como estoy preguntando ah, sí era... cuándo. Ajá, sí es cierto. Ah, we can ah. go out tomorrow in the night. Ok. A ver, ¿dónde? La, la de abajo lleva yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you invite me to eat pupusas in the morning? Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay. Do you have to work tomorrow? Yes, I have to work tomorrow. Uh, are you going to go to bed now? Yes, I am going to bed. Go. I'm, I'm go yeah. I am going to go to, to, go bed. to bed. Uh -huh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Now. That's okay. Okay. Now again. 
Just, uh, just, uh, just something. Be, sorry for interrupting. Uh, okay. When you when you mention uh, time expression, for example, when you make reference to night, you say at night. That is the only exception because at you say in the morning, in the okay. afternoon, at night. At is different. Okay. That is the only one, right? Um, Thank you so much. Tomorrow at night. At night, excellent. That's correct. That is the only different. That is the exception. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Where you can do, you can do uh, send the reports in your office. I send the. Uh, mails in, mails in the computer of my office. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next, what are you have to do on Monday? Oh, a lot of things. Hi, <laughs> 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 teacher. Hello. hello. Thank you. Second time English. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I okay. appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, on Monday, I have to uh, send emails and write a report to my boss. And uh, more reports, more reports, more reports. Uh -huh, more reports. And teacher, what is the English word for? Uh, hacer pedidos. Uh, take orders or make orders. Make order. orders. Mm -hmm. make, make orders. Make orders. Oh. Make orders. Make orders. Okay. Make orders. Mm -hmm. Make you. orders. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to return uh, to the main, main room, so practice the last time. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. The continue. Mm -hmm. We start to to do, I think, the step by step. I think so. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. I have a problem with uh, my pronunciation. Why? Tell me. How because, can I help you? Uh, when I I know what are I spell that word, but when I try to speak and my <laughs> mind, I know how to spell that word, but no me sale la pronunciación como Not the pronunciation. Ah, yeah, como but... teacher, teacher. O sea, no yeah. sé si estoy diciendo maestro o estoy diciendo camiseta. I don't know. <laughs> no, but that's okay. It's about practice. Remember, in this process, the practice is the most important part. That is what we have to do. La práctica es súper esencial en el idioma. Si uno va internalizando cómo se pronuncian las palabras, porque tal vez, como usted dice, puede eh, escribirlas y saber cómo se escriben, pero de repente llega un punto en que nosotros tenemos que practicar mucho y después se hace tan mecánico que uno ya no está pensando cuál es la pronunciación, sino que uno ya lo habla y ya sale bien fluido. Pero esa es la idea. Yeah. yeah, all right. Practice. We're going to return at this moment. I want to get al, al, al grupo. Thank you so much. Hello, hello, thank you, and welcome back to the main room. At this moment, because we're about to finish, the last part of today's class is that I will ask you to do the conversation and everybody's going to listen to your creation. That is the objective for the roadway. And let's see, let's get started. And let's see, I need a volunteer. Let's see, Suleima, tell me a number from one to seven. Dígame un nombre, un número del uno al siete. 
five. Number five, thank you so much. In room number five was Javier Francisco and Andres Giovanni. Ellos van a iniciar. Ahí está en el cuarto número cinco. They can turn on the microphone. Ustedes encienden su micrófono. And the rest, we mute. Nos ponemos en, en silencio y escuchamos su conversación. So thank you so much. Okay. Francisco. Okay. Uh, where can I buy a pencil? You can buy a pencil in the, in the shop of the corner. Okay, uh, can you go with me? Yeah, sure. I can go with you. Okay, what do you have to do this weekend? How to do uh, this weekend? Um, I, I need to, I have to, to go to the warehouse. Okay. And what are you going to do on the next week? Um, I'm going to do another next week um, to assist on a wedding. Okay. That's it. That's okay. it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Everybody, okay. thumbs up. Todos vamos pulgares arriba. Que ya lo hicieron bien los compañeros. Thank you so much. The next one. I have Fabiola and Josue. Thank you so much. Okay. Where can I, where can I buy a cell phone? You can buy a cell phone in Tiwa Store, uh, La Gran Vía. Okay. What do you what do you have to do tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I have to clean my house and play soccer. I think so. What do you going to do the next week? Um, this week uh, on Sunday or what day? Oh, Sunday. Oh, yeah, Sunday. I'm going to visit uh, Surf City. Um, <laughs> um, okay. That's it. Thank you yeah. so much. Everybody, thumbs up. Thank you so much. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next couple or the, the next pair, siente pareja, Irene and Magali. Okay. Magali, when can you eat pizza? I can eat pizza at night, at tonight, at night. Okay, when can you buy a pizza? I can buy pizza at the city. Can you buy hamburger for me? Yes, I can. Can you sing a song for me? Mm, yes, I can. Tell me when can you go? When you going to go out for dinner? I'm going to have uh, next week. Mm -hmm. Where you going to go travel? When you going to travel next year? Where I'm going to travel. Uh, I'm going to travel the US. To the US. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it? That's all. Only. Thank you so much, yeah, everybody. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. I have the next person, Manuel and partner, Manuel Rodriguez. Mr. Manuel Rodriguez, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need the, the, the microphone. No uh, problem. Carla? Hello. Uh, you question me? Ah, uh, where you can do the, the trying in, to the, ne the new employees? I can, I can do the, I can the, 
the training, uh, the new employees uh, in the training room. Okay. And what do you have to do on Monday? I have to do the meeting with my boss and, and co-workers in the, in the office. Okay. And what are you going to do on Sunday? I'm going to the play soccer with my friends. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's all. Okay. Good. Thank you so much, Only everybody. This. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. Next one, Edgar, Alfredo Benjivar, and partner. Okay, uh, Werner. No. Yes. Okay. And, and uh, como se llama? And, uh, where Where can you receive? And Julio, in Julio, también. So, okay. Vamos a estar Julio. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, where can you receive new personnel? Hello. I can receive at my office. Okay. Uh, can you receive new personnel? Yes, I can. What are you going to do over the weekend? Uh, I am going to the stadium on the weekend. Okay. That's all? Yeah. That's it. Thank you so much. Thumbs up, everybody. Thank you so much. Mr. Marvin, you're missing to participate, Marvin. <laughs> Thank you so okay, much. Okay, teacher. Manuel. <laughs> Creo que se llamaba Manuel. <laughs> Manuel. Let's see, Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Manuel, can you help me? Manuel Montoya. Manuel Montoya. Uh, Manuel, where can I take a taxi? You are, you are can, well, uh, you are can call your phone. Oh, yes, please give me the number. You are can call the number, uh, Seven eight six zero three zero four nine. Can you come with me? Uh, no, I cannot. What do you have to do evening? Uh, I have to do work evening. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Miss Suleyma Yvonne, you go. Okay. Mariela, when can yes. we go out? We can go out tomorrow at night. Ah, yeah. okay. And can you invite me to eat pupusas in the morning? Yes, I can. Okay. And tell me, do you have to work tomorrow? Yes, I have to work tomorrow. Um. Another question, are you going to go to bed now? Yes, I am going to go to bed right now. Right um, now. <laughs> it's time. It's time to it. go. I am sleeping. <laughs> I know, I know. Thank you so much. Everybody, thumbs up for them, please. Thank you so much. Who is missing? ¿Qué me hace falta? Yulai Hernandez. Julio. No. Who is missing? ¿Quién me hace falta? Francisco, did you participate? ¿Participó Francisco? Yeah. All right. Nobody's missing. Creo que todos participamos. No se me queda ningún grupo. All right. Thank you so much. And congratulations. You're doing great. Thank you. I am really surprised. And I want to encourage you to continue doing your best. Felicidades. Estamos bastante bien. Siempre recuérdense de revisar ahí sus notas porque eso nos ayuda de, eh, es ayuda a nosotros. Recuérdense también hacer las tareas, no se le olvide. Y les agradezco a los que ya avanzaron en eso. 
Nada más darles un anuncio rapidito antes de que nos vayamos. Eh, el, la modalidad de las asistencias que tenemos el miércoles, que es de 10 a 11, va, va a variar. Entonces ahora se va a dar la asistencia, pero 10 minutos después de la clase, nada más. Todos los días. Entonces mañana se les va a mandar a ustedes la programación y creo que solo va a ser una persona, entonces solo va a ser 10 minutos, así para el que le tocaba de 10, 50, 11, no se quede tanto tiempo esperando, porque, ya, ah, verdad, entonces así se va a hacer 10 minutos, y esperamos pues atenderles de una mejor manera, y pues que podamos eh, solventar dudas, si es que existe, pues entonces nada más quedan eh, eh, con la información, que ya a partir del lunes se va a comenzar con esa modalidad, y mañana se les va a avisar, se les va a mandar la información. Nada más, antes de retirarnos, rapidito, encendamos micrófonos y chequeamos asistencia. Alejandra María. Andrés Giovanni. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edgar Alfredo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elsie Janet. Fabiola Georgina. Present. Thank you. Francisco Javier. Present. Irene Azucena. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Magali. Present. Thank you. Josué Alberto. Present. Juan, thank you. Juan Francisco Enríquez. Julio César Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Carla Marta. Present. Thank you. Carla Noemi López. This moment, probably Manuel Alejandro Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Manuel de Jesús Montoya. Present. Thank you. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Marvin Wilfredo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Werner Mauricio. Present, teacher. Uh, Noemi Córdoba. Present. Thank you. I appreciate that. El Suleima Ivonne. Present. All right. Thank you so much. So after that one, we are dismissed. You may go to bed and I <laughs> hope you have a nice weekend. Ya pueden descansar y espero que tengan un feliz fin de semana. All right. Okay. So, thank you so thank much. You, Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. I see Good the night. Monday. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right, have a good night. Have a good night.